All aboard! Everyone. Hello, Spider Dan. Which of our friends are we going to see? Which of our friends do you think it will be? Climb aboard and travel with me. All aboard the story train. Yeah. All aboard the story train. Twinkle, have you spotted someone? I can't see who it is. Can you? What was that? It's a ball. It's bouncing. Whose ball is it? Oh, it's Loopy's. He's heading the ball. Well done. You were right. It is Loopy. Yeah, I saw his curly loop. Hi, Loopy. That's a lovely new bo ball. Oh dear! My new ball! I was getting really good at heading it too. Don't worry, Loopy. I'll fix it later. Why don't we hop on the story train now and find someone else for you to play with? Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks, Dan. Then we can go to Story Corner. Boing, boing. Are you ready too? Then let's go. All aboard the story train! Twinkle has spotted someone up ahead. Who do you think it might be? Look, it's another ball. No, it's not. They're balloons. Whose balloons are they? It's Tallulah, Millie, and Lily too. They're playing with balloons. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Hey, it's Twinkle! Hooray! The story train is here. <laughs> Hi, Twinkle. And Loopy too. Hi, Dan. Hi, Loopy. Hi, Loopy. Yay! Come back! Come back! <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! Balloons! <laughs> <laughs> did you see us, Dan? I did, Lily. It looked like great fun. And I've got an idea to make it even more fun. Oh! oh what, what is, is it? I <laughs> know. It's not blown up. <laughs> Tallulah, would you help Loopy with the balloon while I go and fix the ball? No problem, Driver Dan. Hey, <laughs> thanks, Dan. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. May I have it a bit bigger, please? Oh, bigger. Oh, mind it doesn't go pop. That's too much blowing. It'll burst. No, it won't. It could go much bigger than that. Look. <laughs> Too much! No! Ha! Look at that! <laughs> oh, wow. no. oh no, Loopy! Oh. That's too big! Oh, it's dangerous! You look like you might float away, Loopy! Hey! Watch this! One, two, three, four, five! Loopy, don't burst it! One, two, three, four, five! No! <laughs> Oh no! Did you see that? Oh no! The balloon floated away! Oh no! Loopy's glasses! Loopy, your glasses! The wind is blowing the balloon and glasses away! Oh no, Dan! My glasses! My glasses! I can't see properly without my glasses! I won't be able to see the book at Story Corner! Quickly! All aboard, everyone! We must try and get Loopy's glasses back! Quickly now! All aboard, all aboard. Quick, let's hurry. Are you ready? All aboard the story train. Follow those glasses. Hurry, Dan. Catch that balloon. It's that way. Right. Oh, it's that way. Right. Right, right. The wind's blowing this way. Right. Left. Left. That's it. That's right. <laughs> no, I, I mean left, sorry. Left, right, no, right. Faster! 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 
The wind is blowing the balloon towards Story Corner. Oh, we'll have to catch it before Story Corner. Hurry, Driver Dan. I don't want to lose them. Right. There's only one thing for it. Go on, Twinkle. You go for it. How about that? That was really clever. Good catch, Driver Dan. <laughs> there you are, Loopy. Oh, thanks, Driver Dan. And thanks, Twinkle. You were really brave. Yes, well done, Twinkle. And perfect timing, too. Here we are at Story Corner. Hooray! Story time! Story Corner! Story time! Phew! That was a fast ride to Story Corner. I think a story will calm us down. Yes, please. What about balloons? I was thinking maybe... Aha! I know just the book. There. A big book is perfect for today's story. Is everyone settled down and ready to listen? Yes! Story time! And all of you, sitting down comfy and ready to listen? Ready, Dan! I can see it really well with my glasses. <laughs> this story is called Ben's Birthday. It was written by George Terry and the pictures are by James Wilson. Ben's birthday had been wonderful. Look at all the food. As his mum tucked him up in bed, he chatted happily about his party. Lots of balloons, all his friends playing games, the lovely food and his favourite, the train birthday cake with five candles. Ah, oh, I wish I could have a birthday every day, Ben sighed. The next day was Ben's birthday again. He had a wonderful party with all his friends playing games and lovely food and a train birthday cake with six candles. But there wasn't time to blow up all the balloons. The next day, was Ben's birthday again. He had a wonderful party with lovely food and a train cake with seven candles, but there was no time to blow up the balloons and his friends were all too busy to come. The next day was Ben's birthday again. And he had a party with lovely food and a train cake, but there was no time to blow up all the balloons. His friends were all too busy to come and none of his clothes fitted anymore. And what he really wanted to eat was a banana, not more cake. The next day was Ben's birthday again. And he had a party, but he didn't want the lovely food. And looking at the train cake made him feel very unwell. I don't want a birthday every day, said Ben, blowing out his candles. I wish I didn't have a birthday every day. The next day, when Ben woke up, his mum said, How does it feel to be five? Do you feel any bigger? Ben quickly pulled on his favourite t-shirt. Only a little bit bigger, he laughed. And mum, for breakfast, may I just have a banana? The end. <laughs> well, what a big story. Did you enjoy it? I thought I would like a birthday every day too. But now I'm not so sure. I liked watching Ben get bigger and bigger. That was fun. And now it's your turn. Which bit did you like best? Come on, it's time to show me the story. Let's count Ben's candles. One, two, three, four, five. Let's blow out all the candles. <sighs> it's my birthday again. I'm getting really big now. Look at all the party food. Lots and lots of cake. I'm going to eat some cake. And jelly too. I'm eating birthday cake. Lots of it. We're all at the party. Yeah, I love parties. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. That was a lot of fun. Oh, we could save these balloons for a party. Just like the party Ben had. Ah, oh, Ben would have liked that. There was never enough time to blow up all the balloons at all his parties. That's right. All those parties were never as much fun as one special one. To you, Driver Dan! 
Hey, Loopy, do you want me to blow up the ball and make it much bigger like the balloon? No, thanks, Driver Dan. I think the ball is big enough and just right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you enjoyed the story, everyone. And what a journey we had to Story Corner. But now it's time to go. All aboard! All aboard the Story Train! Bye, everyone. It's time to go. But let's come back soon because we all love stories. Bye, Driver Dan. Bye. I like stories about puppies. I like ones with noises. I like bedtime stories. <laughs>